Hi guys, Mrs. Basico here, just showing you what you're doing for your work today. Okay, so today is Thursday, so you're gonna click on today's science work. Oops. <laughs> then um, there's a video that should show up, that's me, and you're obviously already watching that, duh. But then you're gonna go to Google Docs Hypothesis Writing, so let's click on that. So in a lab, and we did this when we did our um, water bottle lab, is we practiced writing a hypothesis. And if you remember, hypothesis in science always have an if, and then a then statement. So if we look at the directions, it says create a hypothesis if, and then using the following statements. So what we're gonna try is, um, you're gonna try these uh, five questions, really pretty easy peasy, and they're gonna be questions that you would try to figure out in a lab. We're gonna turn them into a hypothesis, okay? So let's look at the example as a class. Can reading small print, like really tiny print, cause you to have headaches? I definitely think so. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna practice writing a hypothesis as if you were doing a lab, okay? So as if you were gonna test it. So when I read that question, I think, huh, yeah, definitely seeing small print gives me headaches. That's why I have to wear these darn glasses all the time. So I'm gonna say yes, but I have to make that a guess. So I'm gonna turn that into an if-then statement. And all I'm gonna do is rearrange the parts of this sentence. So I'm gonna start with if, all of these start with if, and, and I'm gonna take basically the end and say, if I read only small print, then I will get headaches. Because that's my guess, right? I'm guessing that if I read only small print, then that's gonna give me headaches, okay? And that's how easy it is to write a hypothesis. All you have to do is turn that into like what you think, but instead of saying I think, you're gonna put an if, and a then and pretend that you're trying to guess it. And it's totally okay, it, it can be right or wrong. I wouldn't care if you put, if I read only small print, then I won't get headaches, or if I read large print, I will get headaches. It doesn't matter what you put, just put an if and then a then. So let's try two more examples, okay? Will babies grow taller if they drink more milk? Whoa. All right, so what I'm gonna do is first I'm gonna think about it. I actually think they would grow bigger if they drink more milk. So instead of just saying yes, I think they will grow bigger, I have to put that into an if and then a then. So I'm gonna start with my if, all of these start with if, and I say if, and I kind of take the end here, babies drink more milk, then they will grow taller. So do you see how all I did was I took the sentence and kind of reused the words and put an if and a then in there, okay? And it would totally be okay if I wrote, if babies drink less milk, then they will grow taller. It's totally whatever guess you want to put in there because you're just practicing writing the if then, okay? Let's try one more. Question two, will you do better on a test if you study every day for a test? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to think about it. Yeah, I do think that would be good. So normally I would say, yeah, I agree with that. I think on a if you study every day, you should do better. But I have to put that guess into hypothesis format. So I've got to use an if and a then. So let me start with if. And I'm going to take, again, that bottom or that end part of it. If I study for a test, whoops, a test every day, then I will do better. And that's my guess. If I thought, nah, I don't need to study, I'll do fine, then I could say, if I don't study for a test every day, then I will do just fine. You could also enter it just like that. So you're turning the guess into a hypothesis using if or then. So your job for homework today is to just try three, four, and five. That's it. And then submit it. Okay. And please, as always, if you need help, definitely, definitely, definitely email me and I'll be on GoGuardian too if you need help. Okay. All right, guys. Have a great day. Bye.